This week's scripture is Luke chapter 1, verses 68 through 79. It's a prophecy that Zechariah gives after the naming of his son John, who we know as John the Baptist. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favorably upon his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty Savior for us in the house of his servant David, as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from old, that we would be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant the oath that he swore to our ancestor Abraham to grant us, that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. And you, child, will be called the prophet of Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace. This prophecy speaks of a Savior who will come to save us from our enemies and will forgive us of our sins so we may be saved. This week, we light the candle of peace. This scripture gives us the peace and security of knowing that we will be saved and can spend eternal life in heaven. As you continue to prepare for the birth of Jesus Christ the rest of this season, may you have the peace that comes with the message of salvation Zechariah brings. Let us pray. Lord, give us peace this week. Give us the peace to know that through the birth of your Son, we can spend eternal life with you. Help us to continue to prepare for his birth this season. In his name, amen.